So this is our second question. And in this question it says, in the reaction of aluminum with dilute sulfuric acid, aluminum sulfate and hydrogen gas are produced. What mass of hydrogen will be formed if two mole of aluminum are used? So I've got my reaction. It's not currently balanced. I've got three sulfates, so I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to get three hydrogens, and I get two aluminums to balance my reaction. They tell me that I have two mole of aluminum. So sometimes they tell you the chemical amount of a chemical instead of its mass, which is nice because it just saves me a step. Ultimately, they want the mass of hydrogen. And the molar mass of hydrogen is 2.02 gram per mole. It's important to note that you do not use the coefficient to get the molar mass. You only use the subscripts because the coefficient is used in a different step. So here, it's asking me to find the mass of hydrogen gas. And so that's what I want to end up with. I was told that I have 2.0 mole of aluminum. So in the previous example, we had to calculate the mole of the one chemical. This time they've given it to me. So I've already got that step done. But I don't want aluminum. I want to get rid of it. And I want to be left with hydrogen. So I get three hydrogens for every two aluminum. And so this step is converting my mole of aluminum to hydrogen. And then I don't want mole. I want to be left with mass. And the hydrogen molar mass is 2.02 .02 per one mole. So I'm going to take my 2 mole times 3 divided by 2 times 2.02, .02, and I end up with 6.06. .06, so this will be 6.1 mole. This only had, two, or pardon me, not mole, gram. So this only has two sig digs because this number had two sig digs. My number calculated was 6.06, .06, so I have to round it up because the 6 is greater than 5 or greater.